what happens if you haven't taken my advice and you haven't gotten your medical power of attorney? We have something in Texas called the Consent to Medical Treatment Act. And it says that the health care provider can look to one of the following people in order of priority. So they can turn to your spouse if your spouse isn't available or your spouse is deceased or you're not married. They can turn to an adult child as long as that child has permission of the other children. They can turn to, if we can't get one child agreed on, they can turn to the, the majority of the reasonably available adult children. Let's say you don't have adult children, they can turn to your parents. If your parents aren't living, they can turn to your nearest living relative or finally a member of the clergy. Let's say that you're telling me, Carol, I don't need a medical power of attorney because this is exactly the way that I would, uh, I would appoint the agent if I did have one. I would appoint my spouse first, then I would appoint my child. Um, or, and I would go in order and all my children would agree, they all get along and everything will be just fine. Well, I'm here to tell you that sometimes parents have an unrealistic perception of how well their kids are going to get along when faced with that parent laying in a hospital bed with decisions to make. Okay? It's unfortunate, but Lots of times, even kids who usually got along have differing views over what should happen and disagree over the right course of treatment. So even if you would have named your spouse first, what if you and your spouse were both in the same car accident? Then we have to go down to the children. Even if all of the children get along, are you sure you want to place them in this difficult situation where you haven't appointed one to make decisions and you haven't told them what your wishes are about medical decisions? Now, you're going to tell me, Carol, they all know I don't want to be hooked up to a machine. Well, medical decision making is a little more nuanced than don't hook me up to a machine. We're going to talk about that in a minute. So even if they all get along and they're all going to make the right decision, we don't, they don't know what the right decision is without having talked to you about it, without you having told them what your values are. So what that means is you're putting them in a difficult position, in a painful position, that they wouldn't have to otherwise be in. They're already upset. They're already grieving because here you are, very ill, very seriously injured. They are already feeling bad about that. And here you're adding on to it by not telling them ahead of time what kind of care you would want. Mm -hmm.